What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Curry, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. If you guys are new to the channel, there's a couple of things that you need to know about me. First of all, my name is Kari, not Curry or Akari or whatever these captions down here might say. It's Kari, K-A-R-I. And the second thing you should know about me is that I'm a big fan of James Whitner. If you don't know who James Whitner is, he is the owner and proprietor of such stores like Prosper, APB, Social Status, I'm a Manier, and other experiences. He's one of the most highly regarded retailers and designers and entrepreneurs in the sneaker world and in the streetwear world. He's one of the only recipients of the coveted Wings Air Jordan 4s for the work that he does in and around his communities. He just recently was on an episode of Sneaker Shopping that featured Senator and now Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. And he just came out with a brand new Ultra 4D with Adidas in conjunction with one of his stores, Social Status. Without further ado, let's get into it. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Adidas Ultra 4D social status. You know, in 2019, the hand-washed cold Ama Minier Air Force One High, I called that my shoe of the year. This sneaker right here is why I call that sneaker the sneaker of the year. James Whitner never disappoints with his execution when he gets to put pen to paper and help design a shoe with a brand, be it with Nike, be it with Adidas, be it a consortium shoe, whatever it is, he always knocks it out the park. This time, he did the exact same thing. Let's take a little deeper look at this one. All right, guys, starting with the upper of the sneaker here, if you're not familiar, this is the Ultra 4D. Now, we've talked about the 4D on this channel before, the midsole and the process of how they make this 3D printed midsole. However, the upper of the shoe, of course, is styled after the Ultra Boost. So you have this really nice, flexible material, all prime knit going down the upper of the sneaker. But this time, you have this trifecta of colors here between this fresco orange, they call it, the brown and the green. Now, the first thing I wanna direct your attention to is the suede lace cages, the three-stripe lace cages on the lateral and medial side of the sneaker. This right here is indicative of a James Whitner design. Top-notch materials, very, very quality. He put suede on his hand-washed cold Air Force Ones as well on the midsole, which when was the last time you saw suede on a midsole of a sneaker? And this time, not only did he give us the suede, but if you take a look inside of the lace cages, you can also see this really, really nice leather as well on the other side of that suede. Very well done. Now, as I mentioned, on the back of the shoe, wrapping around the heel, you have what they call this kind of fresco orange color here. It's kind of reminds me of a rust color. It doesn't really seem orange, but I don't know, more rust to me, kind of a coral color. Of course, on the heel cup, you see that Ultra 4D branding. Taking the top down, look at the sneaker here. You can see that really defined Ultra Boost print on the toe box of the sneaker on that prime knit. Moving up from there, you get cream colored laces against that that brown tongue. Now here's the interesting part about the tongue on this shoe. You see it has a social status branding with the social status logo right above it and it says one of 3,020. Now granted there are only 3,020 pairs of this sneaker made but the interesting thing about this is that they didn't individually number the pairs. Every pair says one out of 3,020 so you just got one of the pairs but you don't know exactly which one you got. To me that actually takes a couple of points off of the sneaker because if you're going to individually number a sneaker or if you're going to make it a point to tell people about how limited the sneaker is, you should probably individually number them. By the way, in conjunction with the beige colored laces with the goldish tips on them, you also get a set of those rust coral fresco orange colored laces as well. As I mentioned, 4D printed midsole on this sneaker. This time it's in that same mint green and I didn't expect to see mint green on this shoe because I've seen 4D done in so many different colors that I felt like might have worked a little bit better with this one, but we get the green 4D on these, so it is what it is. On the outsole of the sneaker, you're gonna get a gum outsole on this shoe, but the traction pattern is a little bit different than I'm used to seeing on these sneakers. It looks very interesting. I like it, it's very grippy. I feel like the traction is gonna be nice when you're trying to run in this shoe. Now, that brings us to what I believe is the most important part of this sneaker, the inspiration behind this sneaker, and my favorite part of this sneaker, the insole. This sneaker has been dubbed the Renaissance because the 
color theme of this sneaker is actually made to represent the Mona Lisa painting in the different colors that are within this painting. So as you can see on the insole, you have the Mona Lisa with the face replaced by the social status in Adidas co-branded logo. Now that just took the shoe up a notch for me. I'm not gonna lie about that because I'm a huge lover of art. I'm a huge lover of European art and putting the Mona Lisa on the insole of this sneaker, very, very dope. By the way, quick fact, did you know that the Mona Lisa actually has no price on it? And the last time it was valued like 30 years ago, it was valued at the equivalent in 2020 of $850 million. But people feel like it's worth even more than that, like a billion dollars, like, that's ridiculous. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the Ultra 4D by Adidas and social status. Now, here's the thing about this sneaker. There's some things that I really, really like about it. There's some things that I really, really don't like about it. Let's talk about the things that I really do like about the sneaker. I like the colors of the upper. I like the upper as a whole. I love the theming of the Mona Lisa painting being woven into the color blocking on the sneaker. I think that is incredibly dope. What I did find interesting is that this was a co-branded sneaker with social status status, which tends to not be as high class of a store as Ama Meniere is. Matter of fact, Ama Meniere being a French term, meaning like we do it our way or something like that, you would think that if they were going to take a shoe that actually used a portrait of a famous European painting, they would actually do it co-branded with the store whose name is literally in French. But that's not for me to understand why this was a co-branded shoe with social status as opposed to Ama Meniere. It is what it is but i still think that the theming is very very dope so i like that about the shoe like i said like the upper like the colors like the insole now let's talk a little bit about what i don't like about the sneaker first things first i hate the midsole i hate the color of the 4D midsole. I don't understand why they have this mint chocolate chip green on top of this really, really interesting olive and deep red kind of coral color and this brown color here. It to me just clashes a little bit with the rest of the colors. I don't know why they didn't make the midsole a more neutral color, maybe something like that. That was a really bad Photoshop that I did, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what it would look like with a different color midsole on it. So I took the midsole from the core white 4D and put it on these and I just feel like kind of that nice whitish kind of beigeish tannish midsole would have looked a lot better than this horrific green midsole on the sneaker. I personally feel like James Whitner probably didn't have a choice in what color 4D midsole he was going to get on this sneaker. And I also feel like Adidas kind of made him do a 4D anyway, because if you want my personal opinion, I feel like this probably should have been an ultra boost, but that's another conversation for another day. But for whatever it's worth, I just really, really don't like the green. Second thing I'm really not feeling about this sneaker is the individual numbering. Again, I feel like if you're going to put, there's only 3,000 2020 pairs on this shoe, you should have made it each individually numbered. When you put an individual number on a sneaker, number one, it makes it feel a little bit more valuable. It makes it seem a little bit more exclusive. If you want my personal opinion, I feel like they didn't individually number these shoes because they made more than 3,020 pairs of them. And this is a really, really easy way to give away pairs or to make sure that friends and family get pairs, but it flies under the radar. But congratulations, because we all apparently got number one. And the last thing that I really don't like about the sneaker, honestly, is the packaging. They just gave us regular Adidas Ultra 4D packaging for the sneaker. And I feel like for a special collaboration like this with a consortium, I feel like they should have done something a little bit nicer with the packaging instead of the standard black box. Maybe if they made the box kind of coincide with the artwork that was on the insole, I feel like that would have made it really, really dope. But you guys know that I'm a packaging snob. I love my boxes. So when it comes to the packaging overall, I just really want it to look, you know, nice. But we just got the plain black box. Nothing different about it. Nothing different about what's inside of it. It just was what it was. So I don't know. I feel like they kind of dropped the ball on that one. Maybe put a picture of the Louvre on it or something like that. The art museum over in Paris where the Mona Lisa is. That would have been dope. The 40 overall is a really interesting shoe as well. I feel like it's kind of lost in this purgatory of running shoes and kind of what they want to be versus what they really are out here. What I mean by that is this isn't really the go-to running shoe for people that are running in Adidas sneakers. Usually people are running in an Ultra Boost or they're running in an Ada Zero or another one of those newer running shoes. As a matter of fact, Adidas just announced a new running shoe technology that's called Strung, I believe, either Strung or String, where they're actually using robots to interweave all these different strings onto the upper of the sneaker as well. So where 4D is going to lie, I'm pretty sure they're going to put 4D midsoles on the strong technology, but 
even with that, it just feels like Adidas is trying to force 4D on us and we don't really want it. Now, I understand that there's some people that swear by 4D. They say it's super comfortable once you break it in and it's really nice and everything, but I just feel like for it to be a bit stiffer, I just kind of like the squishiness of the Ultra Boost a little bit better if I'm gonna wear this shoe all day long. To me, the 4D just, is it as comfortable? But I know a lot of other people that have gotten this sneaker and they absolutely love the shoe. They love the fit of it, they love the feel of it, they love the comfort, and they love how it feels when they're running it. And hey, I'm just one guy with one opinion. So if you like it, I love it. But all in all, it still is a really, really fly shoe. Again, James Whitner in my book can do no wrong when it comes to design. He knocked it out of the park with these. And personally, I love this shoe. Just from here up. All right, guys, listen, that's pretty much all that I got to say about these. Now it's time for you guys to sound off down in the comments and let me know what you guys think about the social status Adidas Ultra 4D. Are these ones that were on your must cop list? Did these make it into your collection or were these a hard pass for you? Sound off down below. Let me know. Oh, of course, right down in the comments, make sure that you click on that subscribe button so we can welcome you into the sneaker fetish family to make sure you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these because I guarantee you, I got a lot more heat on the way. As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Secret Fetish, taking a look at these with me, unboxing them with me for a couple of minutes. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Adidas Ultra 4D by Social Status, and until next time, I'm out.